Bitcoin right now has failed to use this zone as a support level. It's now flipped to become a resistance level, also using this 20 exponential moving average as a slope to the downside looking for more downwards continuation. Plus Ethereum is basically moving sideways in this direction, failing to break to the upside, failing to break to the downside, and the exponential moving average is basically sideways in this direction. Plus, I have a lot of crypto news to go through with you today, so make sure you stick around until the end of the video. Before I jump straight into the video, make sure to check out my trading masterclass in this video description that's currently 50% off. I teach you everything that I know about trading so you can become a long-term, consistently profitable trader in the market. Let's begin with some crypto news today. Bitcoin going much lower just got way less likely. The midline of the envelope is one of the most important bull market supports. Just look how long it held up in 2015 to 2017. And now for the third time, this bull market has been tested. This line will carry us to a parabola to the upside. So what we're actually focusing on this chart is very similar to this 20X exponential moving average. We can see this orange line through here is the envelope midline. And what's actually happening is when we get breaks above this envelope midline, we're then getting retests back at the envelope midline, using it as support to continue parabolas to the upside. We do get some failures in the market. We've got one failure here in the market. We've got another failure here in the market, but then we get that upwards continuation. We get a break above the envelope. We then get a retest of the envelope, and then we get a massive parabola to the upside, which eventually gets that failure, a failure after parabola. So you can see at this current price where we're currently at, we've actually scrolled into the chart here. We've got a push above this envelope line. We then come back, retest the envelope line. We then continue up to the upside. We then come back, have a bit of a retracement. Where do we come back to? This envelope line again. We then push up to the upside again and look at what we're currently at. We're currently successfully retesting this envelope midline for another time. And obviously the slope of the envelope midline pointing to the upside gives us higher probability of more upside continuation potential in the market. Plus, in breaking news, Bloomberg analyst says that Bitcoin ETF approval odds are now up to 65% from only 1% just a few months ago. So people were only expecting a 1% chance of this ETF actually coming through. Now people are over 50% likely that this ETF is going to come through and it is going to spark the next massive bull run for Bitcoin as it will allow retail investors, sophisticated investors, and people that don't wanna invest directly into the blockchain access to Bitcoin directly in their investment portfolio. This Bitcoin cycle whales a complete diamond hands. The small investor to whale ratio is a full force surging. What does this mean? The investors that have been selling this cycle are small. Whales are holding. This is powerful for price, which can be seen in the past when the metric surges. The two cycles from 2013 to 17 were memorable and powerful. Whales weren't interested in selling at all. You can see where the metric declines Price underwent huge suppression. So let's actually jump into this chart and understand exactly what's going on. The main line that we really want to focus at is this purple to dark brown line right through here. It's actually where we're seeing whales either taking profits, as we can see in this region here, we're getting a massive sell-off in the overall price and the overall holding potential of these whales. And look at what's currently selling happening here. We're getting retail selling. So those small investors investors are actually selling into the market, but overall we're getting a lot of whale strength. We're getting a lot of long-term people coming into the market, buying up a lot of crypto and actually holding it in their wallets, in their cold storage, and they're not looking to sell at any time soon. It's only really the small retail investor who just has a couple of thousand dollars invested, looking to quickly double their money and get out. These people have hundreds of millions of dollars invested and they're looking to turn it into billions of dollars, not just a quick double on their money. Lastly, in the crypto news, governments can confiscate wealth through taxes and money printing via the central bank. So that's what we should expect to happen. This 
is a quote from Ray Dalio, but Bitcoin fixes this because as we know, government confiscates wealth through its taxes. It's actually using that taxes to pay its own employees, to buy things for itself and the country. And then it also uses the money printing mechanism to basically inflate the money supply to oblivion to basically allow the printers to create enough supply of money that they need to run these day-to-day -day transfers in the actual economy. Now let's come over and look at the latest price action for Bitcoin. All through this area, we were actually in a really strong support zone. Support, 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 and support. After we got this strong red bar down here we broke below support expecting to use this zone here as a resistance level you can see what's happening here through this area here we were using it as a resistance zone we then try to break above this 20 exponential moving average and look at what happened we got a massive rejection in this area big drop to the downside down a couple of percent so it's very clear that once we have support in this region we then get a breakout and support fails it then acts as a resistance level and it will struggle for price to get above and we'll look for more downside continuation we also look at the slope of this exponential moving average well, if we look at the slope it's definitely sloped to the downside so there is that higher probability of more downside continuation momentum and that's exactly what we saw here we actually have confluence in the market right at this point here for a short because we got this support to resistance flip because we're actually retesting the 20 exponential moving average because we've got the downward sloping on the 20 exponential moving average we've got multiple confluence zone in this area to actually tell me to look for shorts in this area as i've been telling you for multiple multiple days we need to look at to the left see it what's happened before we had support in that area support has failed it's now acting as resistance so you need to understand that the market is shifting before it was support it's now acting as resistance so are we going to expect more downside continuation in my opinion we are expecting more downside continuation on bitcoin reason being is we're now basically in this sideways trading channel slightly tilted to the downside you can see how price is basically using these areas as rejection points and these areas all through here as support points. Or as I'm always talking about, you want to be looking to buy in the bottom 25% and then looking to sell in the top 25% of the channel. So right now we're basically in the midpoint of the channel, but a lot of people are looking to sell in this top 25% and they actually bought back their position literally in one bar. They sold in this bar right here and then they bought back right at this bottom here. They literally made an amazingly profitable trade. Let's say they got in right up here, down to their three and a half percent profit in just one day. Say you're trading a hundred thousand dollar trading account, that's over three and a half thousand dollars profit in just one day of trading. So you really need to understand that as much as you might be trading a small trading account today. If you continue to compile those profits, compounding effect, eventually when you're trading these bigger accounts, then a 3% gain is going to be basically your entire monthly profit. Now looking at Ethereum on the daily time frame, very similar to Bitcoin, but again, we haven't had that failure to the downside. We're basically using all this support zone, support, 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 support. We haven't got that failure to the downside. We did have a bit of a three push wedge in this area, and it makes sense to sell on the third push of a wedge, expecting a one, two type pattern to actually occur which is exactly what's actually happened in the market one thing that i am expecting if price is to come back into this area i do think we will see at least a small amount of rejection reason being is we're in this trading range area where people are buying low they're selling high they're then selling high and then buying back low again so i do expect to see some rejection in that area but overall the trend is still looking great let's just quickly scroll out to the weekly time frame i love looking at the weekly time frame it really helps you in mood with my trading a lot of people might think why would the hell would you look at the weekly time frame i'm telling you that the weekly time frame has made me a profitable trader because i now look at this weekly time frame i know that the long-term trend is pointing to the upside i know that right now we're in the value zone not only that when we flick to a smaller time frame we're not only on the value zone for the weekly time frame again we're at that support level on the daily time frame all through this area we're having support so it looked like a great area to look to buy now i've got confluence i've got the weekly time frame telling me to buy i've got the daily time frame telling me to buy i could probably go down to the four hourly or one hourly chart and even find a 
another buy entrance on this. And that's really what I'm looking for in the market. Looking for multiple confluence zones, telling me to enter in the market. I take my trade, have a positive trader's expectancy, and overall, I'm a long-term profitable trader. So make sure to check out this video description where I give you my trading masterclass at 50% off. When we look at the weekly timeframe for a lot of these particular coins, right now, I'm just looking at Dogecoin on the weekly timeframe. We can see that overall, the long-term trend is definitely not yet sloping to the upside. All through this area, basically have a downward sloping exponential moving average. And right here in this area, it's basically moving sideways. When we flick over to Bitcoin, we can see that we do have that long trending upwards exponential moving average. It's completely different to a lot of these other coins. Now, if we go over to Binance coin, you see we still have that downwards trending exponential moving average. We look at Litecoin. Litecoin is one of the only coins that has this positively trending exponential moving average. One thing about Litecoin is we did have the Litecoin halving that actually happened yesterday. And look at what's happened. As we talk about in previous videos that the Litecoin halving one month before the halving, we have this really strong push to the upside in this area from this bottom to this top, pushing over 65% to the upside. That was one month before the halving. And we know that one month into the halving is when we expect this sell-off happening. And you can see we're down 25% in the last month, one month before the happening for Litecoin, the halving for Litecoin one month before the halving for Litecoin. So it's great to actually look back. When we look back and understand exactly what Litecoin has done in the past, this is exactly what it's done. It's made a push one month into the halving. Then as the halving is actually coming closer, people are selling into that. They're buying the anticipation and then they're selling the news. When we flick over, even we look at Ethereum Classic. Ethereum Classic, overall exponential moving average is still pointing to the downside. So when we flick through a lot of these different altcoins, we can see that overall the trend is still to the downside and it's not giving me that momentum that I need to actually buy to the upside and get that long swing to the upside with that higher potential. Solana is slightly making this higher exponential moving average, but we're basically moving sideways. So still not that interested yet. Even looking at AVAX coin, Atom, we look at Link, we look at XRP. XRP is one of the only coins though it's got a positively trending exponential moving average. This is one of the things when I'm looking for coins, I'm looking at the weekly time frame first. I'm looking for coins that have a positively trend, either up or down. I don't really, wouldn't really be interested right now in trading a coin like Solana because we look at it, there's no clear trend that's been determined. But when we flick over to XRP, we can see that there's a much clearer trend. We're making high highs, high low, high highs, high low, high highs, now expecting to potentially come back into this value zone Resistance, resistance, resistance. The resistance level got broken through, expecting this to come back, retest it as support, and then continue massively to the upside. I'm telling you that trading is easy when you have all the right tools at your disposal. Make sure to check out this video description for my trading masterclass. Smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and hit the bell notification if you'd like to continue watching a lot of these trading videos. If you wanna continue watching YouTube, click the video that's on your screen right now to continue your trading journey for free.